Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mocha Latte After Dark. I am your host, JJ Fitzgerald, and today's topic is When God Says Wait, Believe Him. In today's society, we're bombarded with messages that tell us to take control of our lives, be a boss, etc., etc. And that also includes in our relationships. We're encouraged to pursue our desires and to seek out the perfect mate for ourselves without the input of the Almighty. However, as Christians, we know better. Let's start by looking at Psalm 2714, which says, Wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. This scripture reminds us that waiting on God requires patience and strength. It's very easy to become impatient and think we're running things in our relationships, and we could very well be, but not waiting on God and giving Him the reins is a huge mistake. When we wait on God and seek His guidance, He will provide for us in ways we never could have imagined. This leads me to the next verse, which is my daily mantra, Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. And it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make your path straight. This scripture advises us that when we submit to God's will, trust Him, and seek His guidance, He will lead us in the right direction. We should not rely on our own understanding. Next, 1 Corinthians 7.17 tells us, Nevertheless, each person should live as a believer in whatever situation the Lord has assigned to them, just as God has called them. This is a rule I lay down in all the churches. This scripture teaches us to embrace our current situation and seek God's will for our lives, whether we're called to be single or married. Isaiah 40.31 says, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. This scripture is essentially telling us that when we put our hope in God, He will provide us with the strength we need to persevere through difficult times. Waiting on God requires patience and endurance. Lastly, Matthew 6.33 says, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Our first priority should always be to seek God in his kingdom no matter what. I know as humans, when things go wrong, a lot of us have a tendency to react in ways that may not always be pleasing to God. I'm guilty of that myself, but... The key is to retrain yourself to immediately seek Him when that happens. When we prioritize our relationship with God, He'll guide us and provide everything. This includes a mate. So, the question is, how can we apply these scriptures to our real lives? First, we should develop a habit of prayer, which allows us to express our gratitude and Ask for guidance and forgiveness. It also helps us to strengthen our relationship with God and deepen our spiritual connection. When you pray, be completely vulnerable and honest, as God knows our true feelings and thoughts anyway. Also, be very specific about what it is you desire. Second, meditate on God's word daily and seek his guidance in all things. Meditating on his word is important because it helps us to renew our minds and transform our thinking to align with his truth. It's a way to connect and deepen our relationship with him, enabling us to experience his love, peace, and guidance every day of our lives. In addition, it helps us to stay focused on what is truly important, gain wisdom and understanding, and find strength and comfort in times of trouble. Ultimately, it's through meditating on God's word that we can become more like him and fulfill our purpose in this world. 
we should ask him to help us discern his will for our relationships and to give us the strength to wait patiently for him to decide what is truly best for us. But first, once again, this means prioritizing our relationship with him over our desire for a relationship. We should embrace our current situation and seek to honor God in it. Whether we're called to be single or married, we should trust in his plan for our lives and seek to live out his will in our current situation. Bottom line, we should trust in God's perfect timing and plans. Jeremiah 29:11 states, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in a future. When we trust in God's plans, we can have peace in our hearts and the confidence that he will provide for us in every aspect of our lives. Remember, waiting on God to bring us a mate requires patience, trust, and a deep relationship with him. We should seek his guidance and put our hope in him, trusting that his timing and plans are perfect. Thank you for listening to another episode of Mocha Latte After Dark, and please don't forget to subscribe and leave a review. And also follow us on Instagram at mocha underscore latte underscore after underscore dark. I'm your host, JJ Fitzgerald, and as always, be true.